welcome everyone back to another gold clip show your host here spikey bringing it all to you so two games on this show we have for you the first one is maidstone they're at home at the gallagher stadium to billericay town over there across the water in essex and the second game we got coming up for you is Maidstone away to Dorking Wanderers over there at the Meadowbank Stadium in Surrey. Uh, the game we could have had in between was postponed. Um, it was to Saturday the 28th of November. It was the away game to uh, Champion Hill to Dulwich Hamlet. That was postponed, cancelled due to floodlight issue. So let's get into this first game. Saturday 21st November in this National League South season and um, here is your lineups. Firstly here's the lineup for Maidstone United. And your lineup here now for Billericay Town. Yep, so let's get into this. Um, Ibrahim Ulatade is his first start this season in the starting 11 for Maidstone. And what a great start it was for him as well and for Maidstone. Um, seven minutes into the game, the first clip here coming up is a goal, 1-0 for Maidstone, scored by Ibrahim Ulatade. And here it is. And to Luke, Luke forward to Olatade. Olatade has got corn on the inside, plays it up high to Charlie Seaman. Seaman with Wilson standing in his way. Charlie Seaman comes inside, he shoots, and it could be a chance, and it's a goal. It's Ibrahim Olatade. Six minutes into his uh, first ever start for Maidstone, and Ibrahim Olatade makes a point in emphatic fashion, scoring after it has to be said a, uh, a bit of a blunder by. Dion Curtis Henry fighting to hold the shot there from uh, Charlie Seaman. And it's 1 0 to Maidstone after uh, six and a half minutes here. Okay, then, half time, Maidstone 1, Billericay 0. We get into this second half. And um, Maidstone had maturity of that first half. Now, I couldn't believe they hadn't gone like 2 or 3 0 up, and obviously the chances were missed and they didn't take them. And the second half comes around 68 minutes in and um, Maidstone get punished for not taking their chances, letting Billericay back into the game. And um, Raven Constable, Maidstone keeper, comes out and clashes with Jake Robinson right on the edge of the box. And uh, yes, it's a penalty for Billericay. And it was basically pretty much their first chance of the match. And yeah, Jake Robinson comes up, takes it, and this is what happens. We'll show you the uh, the how the penalty come about as well in this clip now coming up. Well, Kobe, bounce in the area, could be trouble here, and there's going to be a free kick, and it's going to be a penalty to Billericay. It was Jake Robinson, the player that he challenged, and um, say the Billericay officials in the stand here are celebrating as if it's already been scored. Ella Kobe's protesting. Um, to say it was right on the edge of the area. As soon as I saw the linesman flag, I have to say I feared the worst from a Maystone point of view. And so Jake Robinson is going to get a chance to score. Midway through the second half, Robinson versus Raven Constable. Robinson runs up and Robinson, oh, he scored. And uh, I think Constable is going to be really furious with himself for uh, missing that. I think I'm right in saying that's Jake Robinson's first goal here, actually. He had a spell here during the uh, Harry Wheeler era. Yep, so there, Jake Robinson gets the penalty. Raven Constable just scrapes under his body there and uh, makes it 1 1. So Maidstone 1, Billericay 1. And it goes on full time. 
And that's pretty much about it. It ends up as a draw where Maidstone really should have gone on easily and won that match, but didn't so. So, so pretty much I reckon it's two points dropped really, but better to get a point than nothing. So going on to our second game over at Meadowbank there in Surrey for Dorking Wanderers at home to Maidstone United. And um, here is the Dorking Wanderers lineup. And for you, here is the old black and amber Maidstone United lineup. Okay, then so you're going to be getting to this is a Tuesday night match, December the first, National League South here in 2020. Uh, obviously, still no crowds allowed back at games due to COVID. Still, we're hoping, though, fingers crossed, not too much longer before we can start getting back. Uh, in a few numbers to start watching our teams again with a bit of luck. But um, let's get into it. Dorking Wanderers and Meadowbank at home near to Maidstone. Well, great start there for Dorking. Um, it's an own goal by uh, George Elikobi just before half time, 42 minutes in. Uh, obviously, a cross comes in for Dorking and then it just comes. Flicks off of George and in it goes. So it's Dorking 1, Maidstone nil, and here is that clip coming up now. Field on the halfway line. High ball towards the edge of the Maidstone penalty area. It lulls there, flicks the ball on. Comes to Pryor on his left foot. Comes across and it's an own goal. Unfortunate. Pryor with his left foot, he was very wide. Smashed the ball across the edge of the six-yard box and it just ricocheted in off Ella Kobe. Yeah, he couldn't really get out of the out the out the way of that. I don't think George. There was no other uh, pressure or challenge from anyone else. It was just hit low and yeah. hard. Uh, you probably noticed it. I don't know. Little correction there. It was forty-one minutes to own goal by George Elikobi to give Dorking a one-nil lead. So half time, yeah, one-nil Dorking. And um, get into the second half. And here's what happens. Seventy-two minutes in. Um, We'll watch that clip right now, deep into the second half. Going to come forward in numbers again here now. Well, that's going to be picked up by Ella Kobe. Misses out, and the Dorking have won the ball back again. Dangerous here for the Stones. Ball across field. It's could be a shot. Yeah. It's 2-0. The sucker bunch. You have to say that Dorking were uh, looking extremely dangerous there. Once they got the bit between their teeth, um, it almost looked almost certain there was a goal on the cards there. It was just a bit unfortunate again because uh, the ball was ricocheting about. Yep, Jason Pryor there for Dorking Wanderers who are in their red and white striped tops. Mason in their usual black and amber. Um, makes it 2 0 for Dorking now. And um, coming up next, oh, a bit of a comeback here for Maidstone. 76 minutes in, um, Crash Kresniki makes it 2 1. Maidstone coming back a little bit. And here is his goal. Ball into the near post and it's gone on. It's oh. gone in the back of the net. And Maystone have scored. What did I tell you? Ooh. Little flick on there. And I think it was Krasnicki. It was. I think it came off his ponytail. <laughs> I think you're right. We still have it though. Tamelchi gets the ball across field now to Chesmain again. Chesmain out right to Luke. Luke looking to come inside. Good play from Luke. Luke again. Takes a shot. Oh! What a goal from Luke! It's 2 2. That was messy ish from Barcelona. Oh, I wonder what that's his first touch of the ball. A little dance for yeah. Shimmy. Great finish in the bottom corner. Juan Luque comes in from the wing, jut juts around two players and curls the ball out of the keeper's reach and in off the far post. It's 2-2. Two -two. Wow, what a dramatic comeback there. Maidstone, Juan Luque, um, 90 minutes, brings Maidstone back to 2-2. Two -two. Wow, fantastic. Bit of a shimmy and uh, tap into the net. Oh, well, Messi style, that one. So, so awesome. Come on, boys, get in now. 
we get a point away at Dorking Wanderers, um, apparently like fighting it out the top spot there with um, Dartford. And yeah, so the final score comes up Maidstone 2, Dorking Wanderers 2, with that massive, fantastic goal there by one Luke right on 90 minutes. There's about four added minutes onto this game at the end, and uh, we're just going to show you the highlights of that right now. It was pretty damn exciting. And uh, yeah, we watched that. And um, in the meantime, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you up on the next episode. Maystone don't have a game next weekend on December the 5th, because there's only 21 teams in the National League South, so we're missing out on a game. But catch us up the week after when Maidstone are back at the Gallagher Stadium with home to Braintree Town. So, there, yeah, let's finish off. Watch the last few added minutes of this Dorky Wanderers Maidstone game. And thanks for watching. Spikey here. And uh, have a great time and we'll catch you on the next show. Peace out. Um, Chesmaine is there. Gets it back to Lewington and he left him a bit short. They were oh, oh coming on goodness. his comeback. He's just given the ball away. And this is dangerous here for the Stones. Oh, whoa, claim for a penalty there. But uh, the referee oh, no. play on. And now, now there's a chance for uh, Luque to come forward again. Luque gets a ball. Oh, a poor ball. That is an appalling ball in that position. After the, after the shot he just played. And he's going to launch this downfield. Plays it off the ground and launches it downfield. Elul, good head forward from him. Uh, Maystone just about retaining possession. Tumelchi now coming forward. There's the whistle. 